Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer software testing interview question 80. That is, what is forward traceability matrix? Let me answer. Forward traceability matrix is one of the types of RTM. RTM stands for requirements traceability matrix. There are different types of RTMs where forward traceability matrix is one of the types of RTM. What is the purpose of RTM? First of all, the purpose of the RTM is to map the requirements, application requirements with the test cases which are created by the software testers. Okay, the application requirements are mapped with the test cases with the help of RTM, but RTM is of different types. Okay, there are different ways we can create RTM. There are different types of RTMs we can create to map the requirements with the test case. What are the different types available? Forward traceability matrix is one type. Backward traceability matrix is another type. Bidirectional traceability matrix is another type. Okay, there are three types of RTM where forward traceability matrix is one of the types of RTM, which is used for mapping the requirements with the test cases. But what is the process followed by this forward traceability matrix type for mapping the requirements with the test cases? With forward traceability matrix, we first, first step is, in the first step, we derive the requirements case, okay? To create this forward traceability matrix, which is a type of RTM, we first derive the test cases, okay? We have two things, requirements are there, test cases are there. But out of the requirements and test cases in forward traceability matrix, what you are going to derive first? All the application requirements you are going to derive first. That is a step one. What you are going to do in step two? In step two, all these derived requirements are mentioned in this FTM, that is forward traceability matrix, okay? Whatever the derived requirements are there that you are going to provide, that requirement IDs and description of the requirements you are going to provide in the RTM template, that is a forward traceability matrix RTM template, okay? So after the requirements are derived and after all these requirements along with the requirement IDs and descriptions are provided in this uh, RTM template that is forward traceability matrix template. Finally, each and every requirement will be mapped to the respective test case, okay? The third step is, the third step in creating this forward traceability matrix is each and every specified requirement that requirement ID and description, right? That is going to be mapped with the respective test cases. Mapping of, mapping the requirements with the test case comes in the third step case, okay? So, why, why this uh, forward traceability matrix is re required? What is the purpose? Why people generally use forward traceability matrix where first they derive the requirements and they are going to document all these requirements in, the, in this template and then map each and every requirement with the respective test cases. Why this process is followed is, what is the purpose? It's to check whether each requirement is tested thoroughly or not, okay? To check whether each and every requirement is tested thoroughly or not, we have to, we have to create this forward traceability matrix where requirements will be derived first, then requirements will be documented into the template next, and then each and every requirement is mapped with the test cases. The purpose of creating this forward traceability matrix is to check whether each requirement is thoroughly tested, each requirement is thoroughly tested. So that is forward traceability matrix. Let me show you an image for forward traceability matrix. You see here, um, first requirements will be derived, okay, and uh, documented in this uh, traceability matrix, that is forward traceability matrix, and each and every requirement ID is now getting mapped with the test cases as part of the third step. This is called as forward traceability matrix. And there are other traceability matrix like backward traceability and bidirectional also as part of the RTM types. So in this session, since I have to answer this question, what is forward traceability matrix? I'm only explaining what is forward traceability matrix. So that's all for this session. In the next session, I'm going to answer another software testing interview question for you. Till then, see you, bye-bye.